I mean, to, uh, to do Doc, you see, my brother is shouting and uh, oh, that's probably how he speaks. This is the first oh, sure, time. Sure. <laughs> banding a lot of economic that's probably how he speaks. you know, so that's but that's he's right. he's not addressing the issues. Doc, we are saying that the economic quagma we were plunged into in 2020, the ramifications of which we are still experiencing, mm. which has occasioned the suffering and hardships we are going through, is largely as a result of the recklessness and the mismanagement of the Bawumia chaired economic man mismanagement team. Mm. He's saying that, no, no, it's because of COVID-19 and Russia, Ukraine. Doc, he said that the budget deficit in 2020 was 11.7%. Right? And I corrected. No, but we have dealt with that issue. Uh, it was has he now accepted? No, it's below the no, So let me give him another evidence so that you won't repeat that, that claim anywhere again. Mm. Doc, page 27 of Baumir's own lecture. Let me give you the title of the lecture. Um, this was a lecture by Baumir at the National Tescon Conference, Millennium City, Kaswa, Yesu Chrome, 7th April 2022. Doc, 7th April 2022, page 27. Anybody can Google it. When I cite documents, I just want people to authenticate and see that uh, we, we are talking about facts here. Baumia has table four in his speech. Mm. And the title is Fiscal Deficit GDP Percent in Selected African Countries. Ghana, 2020, 15%. So even Baumia is quoting 15%. The World Bank is 16%. That's, that's so don't say that's 11%. That's now he has moved from that. Okay. Now he says that I am comparing Francophone countries to Ghana. But that was not what I did. Mm. I compared Ghana's inflation rate of 54% to inflation rate of other African countries. Mm. I was referring to all the 54 countries in Africa. And that is why you heard me mention Nigeria. Is Nigeria a Francophone country? Okay, but you mentioned Cote d'Ivoire. Yes, but, it's, but I'm, so it was not just Burkina and Cote d'Ivoire, the Francophone countries. Mm. I mentioned Nigeria. Okay. What was the inflation rate of Nigeria in 2022? 18.8%. Mm. So if we did 54%, mm. you can't say that it is because of COVID or Russia, Ukraine. Right. That's number two. Okay. Now, Doc, even on the argument of, oh, don't compare Ghana to Francophone countries, well, what? Totally, I don't He's given us he, the reason. No, no, he said that, yes. yeah, because of floating, yes. exchange rate, blah, 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 yes. and that no economics will compare Ghana. Are you a better economist than Baumia? No, you don't understand what Are you saying. a better economist than Baumia? They, they, this they, is they Baumia. Pet. Hold on. Are you a better economist than What's Baumia? the point you're making? Sir? Yes. This is page 27 of Baumia. What, what does it say? Please, hold on. Will I didn't, say what I didn't interject you once. Doc, hold on. Yeah, Baumia is Let's comparing hear. Ghana yes. to four African countries. Okay. In terms of budget deficit, page 27 of his lecture. Mm -hmm. And African countries include Cote d'Ivoire. Okay. Let me take you to page 12 mm -hmm. on inflation, what we are discussing today. Mm -hmm. Page 12. Mm -hmm. In fact, page 14. Mm -hmm. Inflation rate in selected African countries. He does the comparison and analysis. You don't have time. I would have uh, 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 read that to you. Yeah. He compares that to USA, UK, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana. That is the table. What is the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. Who introduced Cote d'Ivoire and Francophone countries as comparators in Ghana's political discourse? Mm -hmm. Is it not a good word remember, mm -hmm. And today you are coming to sit here propounding, you know, a, 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 a strange economic theories that what, we, what? you can't compare Ghana to Cote d'Ivoire. It's Kodivua. not strange. That what are you talking about? His view. It's right. not strange. And his, <laughs> but his view, his view is not borne out by but the that's, here. that's why I asked him. Yes. When that theory... How long has it been ex existing? Yeah. I that like that view is even flawed, inherently flawed. Let me demonstrate that to you. Right. You see, you may be an economic lecturer, but you see... So I'll go to the point. Look, yes. Doc, mm. inherently flawed. If you claim mm. that inflation, the infl high inflation we chopped in Ghana was because of global factors, mm. and that Biden was even affected, mm. then Francophone countries were not an exception. Mm -hmm. If Biden's America was affected by the factors we were talking about, mm -hmm. then the Francophone countries, whether their, their currency is fed no, to the I euro or whatever, economics. will not be an exception. No, so in economics. that same case... I mentioned the transmission look, mechanism. That's look, what I said, right? I have a master's you. degree in economic policy. No, you don't understand it. Mm -hmm. I have studied money policy, policy, policy just policy. like you. Yes. What is the transmission mechanism? Please, please. You don't understand right. it. Let me talk no, about it. You don't understand You don't understand it. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Frank, you don't understand it. 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 Frank, you
a pandemic. Okay. And I gave you the case of Nigeria. Look, look. So, 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 so look at this. Which okay. altered the gold standard Chief. to the dollar. Okay. Chief, Frank, go on. to your lecture. Let me see. You don't understand it. No, no, don't come and don't come and insult me and say that. And what do I say? You don't understand the economy. Chief, monetary policy. I supervise my president. Chief, just like yourself. Chief, what did they write? Chief, you don't understand the way the transmission. So please don't misquote me. That's fine. Quote me well. That's what I'm saying. Correct him. Frank, you made a point. Don't misquote Look, we are not having a shouting match. It's okay. I was no, here when you were engaging no, for you. about 10 minutes yeah. and you went on and on and on. You are saying that I compare Ghana to Francophone countries. Yes. That is a lie. Mm. I went, uh, Relative to inflation, I cited inflation rates in Africa in 2022. And Ghana's that. inflation rate was the third highest. Nigeria that. is not a Francophone country. I right. cited that. You right. lied. Right. Number two, I want to demonstrate to you that in terms of comparing Ghana to Francophone countries, mm. it is Bawomia who knows economics better than you mm. who taught us that. Mm. And I have read his economic lectures where he compares Ghana's inflation rate to that of Cote d'Ivoire, right. Ghana's budget deficit to that of Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. So if you are saying that Bawomia Bonwa, say so. Okay. Now, again... Can, can we move to... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, Doc, I beg you. He had 10 minutes. Let's deal with this. No. No, I beg you. I will do this in two. I'll do this in two, three minutes. Sure, sure, no problem. For the youth manifesto. Look, he sat here during here right now. You see, when they pretend as if they know everything, they end up even contradicting themselves. During his first submission, he stated that the economic challenges we experienced in 2015-2016 was without exogenous shocks. Didn't you hear him say yes. that? Then he sits here again, second submission, he really feeling. I say Ghana, our export earnings has to do with our commodities, mm -hmm. our good oil. What happened in 2015, 2016 with our commodity prices? Whether it was oil or gold or cocoa, total collapse of international commodity prices. Mm. And you sit here, you say you supervise master but, 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 students, but, but, and you tell us that exogenous factors did not affect you, you, Ghana's you economy. Don't what, you are about. what are you talking about? Sammy, Sammy, then again, Sammy, let me educate you on the law. Master, let me make my point. Let the viewers judge. Let the viewers judge. Let me make my point. Let the viewers judge. I did not interject you. You keep on interjecting me. And I can do that better than you. I don't care. So let me make my point. You see, let me make my point. I spoke about pandemic. Let me make my point. It is my time. Why are you interjecting me? Stop this. That is what I said. Stop this. Why are you screaming? It is my time. resulted in this exogenous impact. That is where I made my argument from. Frank, please. When you were speaking, I didn't utter a word. When you were speaking, I didn't utter a word. How did I misquote you? That is what I'm correcting you. You said that. They as, as a result guys, of the pandemic. Don't, don't, don't what as a result of the pandemic? I gave, you see, see, guys Randy, guys off. I gave you the cost. Frank, Frank, of Frank, don't Frank, put us together. Frank, I, I, don't, Frank, I didn't Frank, interject Frank, once. Listen, this is my time. Listen, but I won't sit here. I know Sammy Gentry. Please listen to me. I know what he can do. I won't sit here for you to. What I can do. Do I kill people? Can you listen to me? Am I a killer? What can I do? Please correct me. Can you listen to me? Yes. What do you want me to correct him about? You see, I said that. As a result of the pandemic, mm -hmm. it resulted in a genius impact. Mm -hmm. And I gave the case of Fritz, mm -hmm. which was $1,300 mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. And it went to about 8800 mm -hmm. And I gave so that if anyone goes to buy something, mm -hmm. okay, if anyone goes to buy something, the person will not factor in the cost of this <laughs> eight times are change. You, are, you saying, Frank, uh, are you saying that you did not say in your submission that in 2015, when... Um, Inflation yes. went up that way. There I was, was no referring, exogenous fact. I was referring to the pandemic and the worsening. No, but you didn't say ah! that. Specifically, that's what I was this referring man, to. Why are you doing this? Why are you lying on national TV? But, but, you, you, but you didn't, didn't say, say it. I, but for me, so I have absolute credit. Doc, what, what is the meaning of this? Doc, Doc, you see, Doc, 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 I think you're not being fair to me. I have not, since we started this program, I have not interjected him once. That's fine, just go on. But he does this repeatedly. He's shouting on top of his voice, and the impression is created that all of us are being, you know, no. Yeah. You stated categorically that the economic challenges we had in 2015, 2016 was without exogenous. And for you, those of you who don't understand, it was without external yes. factors. Yes. You are saying you meant the pandemic. pandemic. So we should have entered your head to know what you meant. Mm. That we are talking about what you said on the platform. Right. And I am saying that. If commodities prices, gold, cocoa, oil, collapse in 2015, 2016, and that is a fact, you can't say that exogenous factors did not affect our economy. Right. Then he doesn't even understand the losses, Kutin. Doc, 
the fiscal responsibility when we talk about central the, 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 the financing of central government by the Bank of Ghana is got nothing to do with fiscal responsibility act. I, I told I said fiscal, that two separate but he was still confusing it. So let's let's give the education for the public to understand. The fiscal responsibility act mm. is an act about fiscal policy. The finance minister is the one with oversight over that. Mm. Okay? Mm. And it is about the budget deficit yes. not crossing a threshold yes. of five percent. So in emergencies, the parliament of Ghana can uh, increase the threshold. Yes. You understand? Mm. When it comes to the central bank printing money to finance government, it is a function of the Bank of Ghana Act, mm -hmm. Section 30. Mm -hmm. It's got nothing to do with fiscal responsibility under the finance minister. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the Bank of Ghana Act, mm -hmm. the only way you can exceed the threshold of 5%, not of deficit, mm -hmm. but of the previous. revenue of the previous fiscal year, mm -hmm is when there is a tripartite meeting mm -hmm. between the governor the ministry of finance and so on and they decide to revise the threshold and inform parliament that is what section 30 says we have discussed this year Go times with that governor number governor minister controller governor minister controller they meet to revise the threshold of five percent of the total revenue of the previous fiscal year and they inform parliament that is section 30 i believe subsection 6 of the bank of ghana acts so when you are sitting here citing germany okay giving its so, government so a special reprieve on fiscal responsibility so you are deviated you don't even understand what you're talking about so doc the bottom line here is that this but government was reckless in, in its expenditure uh, yeah. in 2020. I have, I have he came here and peddled falsehood uh, that the deficit was 11 percent. The what IMF says it is 16 percent, yeah. and Bawomia himself says in his lecture that it is 15 percent. And that 15 percent budget deficit was one of the highest in Africa. We therefore show that the problem was recklessness and mismanagement, okay. and not any of the global right. uh, uh, factors he cited. Okay. No, no.